You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV. My name is Paul. I'm the host of the show. Shout out to the producer of the show, C-Rock Behind the Lens. We have a special episode for you guys today. We have an 85 Jordan 1 update. And today we have the 1985 Jordan 1s in that classic royal colorway. Can't wait to get into it. It's a little bittersweet. I'll let you guys know why in just a few minutes. You already know what it is. It's Shoot Your Shot TV, Shoot Your Shot Records, and the 1985 Jordan 1 in that classic royal colorway. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Shoot Your Shot TV. We appreciate you guys. We're happy to be here. We're happy to have you. If this is your first time joining us on the channel, there's a bunch of content on here for you to enjoy. 100 episodes deep. Today, we're doing an update on our 85 Jordan 1 episode. If you're unfamiliar, in 2020, I picked up two of my grails. I got the 85 Bread Ones and the 85 Chicago Ones. I really love those shoes. I'm wearing the Bread Ones right now. They've held up pretty good for over a year. Unfortunately though, the Chicago's were a half size too small. I got a nine and a half and I have a 10 in the breads and I have a 10 in the Royals. So what I did was I sold those 85 Chicago ones and I used that money to buy this pair here. One of my favorite colorways ever, the Royal Jordan one originally that released back in 1985 and it pairs really well with the bread Jordan 1, I don't wear them at the same time. You could though, you could Lance mount it up, but I was sad that I let go of the Chicago's because I really love that color as well. And I filled that void by picking up this pair that was available. I got these on eBay. They went through the whole legit check and all of that. And I got them in hand back in April of 2021. So I wanna say I've worn these at least 50 or 60 times. Had a beautiful patina to it as you can see. A lot of scuff marks. The heel was cracking. Good thing about the shoe is it was still wearable. The inside collars were still very soft, not too crunchy, where it had all the sand and debris kind of sinking down to the bottom and then kind of makes it weird when you put them on and how you try them on. The padding is really soft still. Uh, you can still see the Nike insignia on the insole kind of fading, but it's still there. And the Wings logo is still heavily painted. And it just had a lot of character to it, a lot of, you know, story. A 35, 36 year old shoe was still holding up. It had the OG laces that used to be royal, but just faded with the sun to give you this nice fadeaway grape, fadeaway purple. It was dirty. I loved it with all its flaws and everything. And it wasn't until we dropped our 100th episode. Still intact. Ugh. Oh man, they might be dying on me actually. Oh no. We'll see. We'll get to it on the, oh man, what's happening? They're falling apart on me. They're dying. and. Inside, I'm torn. Oh no! Because I really love this pair of shoes. They make me happy. And if you could see here, they're just cracking. This right here is ready to crack. And then right here, if I were to just bend this midsole all the way back, it'll crack right here. There's like a little, you know, San Andreas fault line going across this whole sole of the shoe. And it just sucks, man, because, you know, I thought that they were gonna last the test of time like these bread ones have, but all good things must come to an end. Oh no! Rest in peace to these 1985 Jordan 1s that I've thoroughly enjoyed for the past six months. I think it's time to let them go. Maybe I'll find another pair down the line or maybe I can get the Chicago's again. But I just want these to go to someone that's going to appreciate them. Someone that can, you know, maybe restore them, do a soul swap. But yeah, man, that's some devastating stuff to see, to witness. But do not fret. Like I said, the Royal 1 and the Jordan 1 is one of my favorite colorways of all time. So you know, prepared with the, the backups on deck. This pair is from 2001, the first time they retroed that colorway all together. I've had these for maybe like 15, 16 years now. Um, got a nice patina going, or they're just dirty, I don't know. You know, 20 years old, but it doesn't hit like the 85s do. You can tell it's a 01, but I still love these shoes as well. I've enjoyed these for quite some time. These guys are coming out of retirement, and I'll be wearing these a lot moving forward. Once those die, and if I don't get a pair of 85s, then I got the 2017s, which I wasn't too crazy about because they kind of, you know, changed the leather. And I don't know, I don't love them. They, something looks off about them, but it's just, you know, just have them just in case because I do love that royal colorway with the black. It just hits. It's like if Michael Jordan went to go play for the Magic or something, you know, but he didn't. It's on the Bulls. 
This is the first time I've actually brought this pair out since 2017. And for those of you who don't know what the glitter gate or the glitter bloom is, it's when the shoe just sits in different temperatures, maybe hot, cold, and then the paint just starts to react differently to the weather change or the temperature change. And it will start to produce like this glitter substance. I don't know if you could see that. I've kind of tried to clean it earlier, but I've read that even after you clean it, it comes back. But there are some other solutions out there that we've seen, like maybe, you know, using Angelus oil, mink oil to take it out and then using like a microfiber cloth. But crazy. It's crazy that this is happening to a shoe that released four years ago. Glittergate. Let us know if that's happened to you. Uh, my buddy Leo over here said it's happened to his Shadow Ones and his Bread Ones and even his Royal Ones as well. It could be the tissue paper. No one really knows. It's a mystery. Nike, why did this happen? Or maybe the factories that made it. But here's three generations of Royal Ones. I got the 85s, you got the 01s, you got the 2017s. I do not have the pair from 2013, but I do remember trying to get them when they dropped. I was down to trade like two pairs of Space Jams or something crazy because they were so limited. Uh, they released All Star Weekend and there was like there were like 10 pairs at every Foot Locker with, that had a house of hoops. So they were hard to get and resale went anywhere from like $800 to $1,000 and only higher until the 2017s came out. Hopefully they come out again and again. You know, I don't know. They don't, they don't really drop a lot of Jordan 1 original colors. I think the last one we got was the natural grays. You can check out that review below. Hopefully they hit us with more original colors so we can fill the void of our dying shoes. And for more insight on Jordan 1s, you can, again, check out our video on the unboxing of my 85 Jordan 1s. Click the link below. And we also did a Holy Grail episode on the 2011 Band Jordan 1 that was a B grade that only released at outlets. And if you're into 1985 Jordan 1s like I am, I've curated a page on Instagram called 85 Jordan 1. You could click the link below, give me a follow, check out all the nice Jordan 1s that I post from 1985. Sometimes 1994, 95 as well, but mainly the babies from 85. I need more, I need it. I love the whole neo vintage look and I just love, it's like recycling. You're buying something old that lasts the test of time until it dies and then you gotta get another one. I don't know, I'm sad. Oh no. But that's our episode for today. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or any insight of how this could have been prevented, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Make sure to give us that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 3,000 before the end of 2021. We're almost there, kind of. But thanks again. Make sure you check out our affiliates, the Game Ball Podcast. Check out the pod. More episodes coming soon. And more episodes of Shoot Your Shot TV. Again, my name is Paul. Shout out to C-Rock Behind the Lens. My boy Leo over here chilling with us. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. And if you're into Jordan ones from 85, okay, let me start again. <laughs> <laughs> All right.